Hello dear students, I am Prabodh. In the previous video, we talked about distance time graph or displacement time graph. Today we are going to talk about velocity time graph. So here in velocity time graph the variation in velocity with time for an object moving in a straight line can be represented by a velocity time graph. So what do you mean by this? So here if the very if the velocity varies with respect to time then it can be represented by a velocity time graph so here time is represented along x axis and velocity is represented along y axis okay so if i am going to draw a dra graph here suppose this is your x axis and this one is y axis here x axis is always taken as time and y axis changes in previous classes we took y axis as distance or displacement here we will take y axis as velocity as time increases velocity also may increases time is represented along x axis and velocity is, is along y axis okay. here you can see the velocity time graph for a car moving with uniform speed of 40 km per hour so here we consider that there is a car that is moving with a constant velocity which is 40 km per hour so this is the velocity time graph of that car the velocity time graph for uniform motion of a car so how to draw this graph let me make you understand how you can draw this graph so the y axis this is the x axis now this is time this is velocity as you know that velocity is represented in y axis and time is represented in x axis if you come compare this graph with graph that you have studied in mathematics if a certain term related to y axis is constant that means it gives you a straight line with respect to x axis suppose here i will ask you to draw a graph of y is equal to 40 y is equal to 40 how will you draw this graph so here suppose this point is 40 here this point we consider this point as 40 now this line is constant line that is 40 this line is parallel with x axis so here as we are talking about uniform velocity here velocity remains constant means at 40 we will choose a straight line with respect to x axis parallel to x axis which makes velocity of the body constant okay so this is the 40 km per hour which is the velocity of the body it remains constant okay now the area enclosed by a velocity time graph and the time axis will be equal to the magnitude of the displacement so what do you mean by this so here you can see this is the area enclosed by the velocity time graph so 
this is the velocity here this one this is the velocity uniform velocity this line and this is the time taken okay. this is the uniform velocity that is 40 and this much is the time taken so if if we draw a graph here this one this region is the displacement of the body so how to calculate this one let me make you understand so suppose if i draw another line here suppose here i am trying to calculate the distance or the displacement traveled by the body from two points within two points so randomly we can choose any two point here suppose this is one point is second point okay. so at point 1 the velocity of the body is 40 km per hour at point 2 also the velocity of the body is 40 km per hour so if I want to calculate what is the displacement traveled by the body from point 1 to point 2 what I will do I will draw two perpendicular line with respect to x axis Okay, now suppose at this point the time is t1, at this point the time is t2. Now, suppose t1 equal to 1 second, t2 is equal to suppose 5 second. Okay, these value can vary with respect to the given conditions with respect to the problem. Now, as you know, that velocity equals to displacement divided by time. You know this one. So, what is displacement here? If I want to calculate displacement, displacement will be equal to velocity, velocity into time. Is not it? displacement is equal to velocity into time ok so here what is velocity ok here velocity is uniform so velocity is 40 into what is time t2 and t1 at, at t1 the time is 1 second at t2 the time is 5 second so here what the time that we are going to take is the difference between the time from this point to this point okay so which is equal to t2 that is 5 minus t1 that is 1 okay. so finally it becomes 40 into 5 minus 1 is 4 So, 40 into 4 equal to 160 meter. Okay. So, here I have taken that the speed or the velocity of the body is 40 meter per second. Initially, 40 meter per second. The body was moving with this velocity, 40 meter per second. Now, at I have, I have choose randomly two different different points that is point 1 at point 1 I consider the time as 1 second at point 2 I consider the time as 2 seconds 5 seconds sorry so then I calculate this one so this is how it can be calculated ok now here you can see that at this point we can randomly choose this point as we can choose this point this is first point this is second point and we can calculate it accordingly ok now here is the second point we can also study about uniformly accelerated motion by plotting its velocity time graph. Now, as velocity time graph is plotted, we can calculate displacement. 
with the same graph we can also calculate accelerated motion okay what is accelerated motion i have explained you in detail in the previous classes okay so let us see see this is a table velocity of a car at regular instants of time so when time is zero the velocity of the car is 0 meter per second okay your in kilometer per hour it is also zero after 5 seconds the velocity acquired by the car is 2 meter 2.5 meter per second then 10 second it is 5 meter per second but that means when the time increases with a uniform rate the velocity also increases with a uniform rate in meter per second or in kilometer per hour okay now you can see the graph here the nature of the graph shows that velocity changes by equal amount in equal interval of time thus for all uniform accelerated motion velocity time graph is a straight line this is very very important you should keep this point in mind for all uniformly accelerated motion the velocity time graph is a straight line here you can see that you see when the time is interval is 5 velocity interval is 2.5 here time interval is 5 here also velocity interval is 2.5 time interval 5 velocity interval 2.5 so for a particular interval of time the change in velocity is also particular or seen okay so this type of motion is called uniformly accelerated motion okay now if you plot the given value in this graph so see this is uh, x axis that is time axis this is y axis that is velocity axis so at 5 so if you, with respect to that table if you put this value here so this is the graph that you will get now in this condition if you randomly take any two points suppose a is one point e is another point between a to e what is the total displacement traveled by the body so i will calculate this one here the area enclosed by ae this is ae what is the area enclosed so this total area if you calculate the value of the total area you can find out the value so let me make you understand this one velocity axis and this one time axis as we are talking about uniformly accelerated motion as we are talking about so the line will be a straight line okay now here in this straight line we will randomly choose any two point okay here randomly we will choose any two points suppose at this point this is our point 1 at this point this is our point 2 this is our point 2 okay now here what we will do we will draw two perpendicular lines with respect to x axis suppose at this point the time is 5 second at this point the time is suppose 15 second it can be varied i am just taking a value at this point the velocity is suppose 10 meter per second at this point suppose the velocity is 20 meter per second okay so at this point the velocity of the body is 10 meter per second time is 5 second at this point that is point number 2 the velocity of the body is 20 meter per second and time is 15 second so how to calculate the total displacement traveled by the body in this case So here, first of all, 
we join a parallel line we make a parallel line from this point here you can see this one is nothing but a rectangle this is nothing but a triangle so here we are going to find out the area of a rectangle plus area of a triangle area of a rectangle plus area of the triangle now what is the area of the rectangle as you all know that length into breadth is the area of the rectangle now we have to calculate the length between these two points so here here the length is 15 minus 5 so here the length is 10 into the breadth is here you can see 10 here as you can see for y axis this value here this is the value 10 this is the value 0 so 10 minus 0 is 10 now for triangle what is the area of the triangle half into base this is the base what is the base again 15 minus 5 is the base that is 10 into height height this height here we are talking about this height okay so here this the value here is 20 here the value is 10 so the height is 20 minus 10 that is 10 okay so here if we calculate this value 10 into 10 is 108 plus half into 10 is 5 5 into 10 is 50 so total is 150 meter so in this case the total distance traveled by the body is 150 meter like this you can calculate it very easily okay now see this is another type of graph here in the previous graph the line here was moving like this it was inclined here it is declined here you need to say something comment it in the given box that this graph is this type of graph whether it is accelerated uniform accelerated deaccelerated which type of graph is it okay now this is the velocity time graph of an object in non uniform accelerated motion see uniform as uniformly accelerated motion the graph will always be a straight line like this in case of non uniformly accelerated motion sometimes it moves up sometimes it comes down moves up comes down like this, in a zigzag way like this okay. in a zigzag way it will move okay so here in a zigzag way it will move like this like this this it will go up comes down go up come down like this it will go on okay so here are some of the questions that i have given you try to solve these questions in case of any doubt ask me your doubt i'll try to clarify your doubt and we'll continue the class we'll continue it in the next class okay. thank you and have a nice day